Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. Crikey. From RNA Music. Yeah. See? Oh, oh, I'm not wearing a shirt. I have a Diderio shirt. You got a Diderio shirt on. That works. That's it's a gear shirt. That counts. Gear. So, you know, stuff and things. RNA Music, your favorite mom and pop guitar Ooh. shop, music lesson studio, Deep in the Heart, Texas. That's where we're at right now. And we're going to answer some questions. Hurling, dirt, dirt, dirt. Sound like a banjo. Hurling, dirt, Texas. Yeah, we're going to answer some questions. That's what we do. Every now and then. All right, let's do this. Welcome back to another episode of Ask RNA. I think this is 266. Awesome. I think. Yeah. Something like that. 256. Mm -hmm. 266. Sure, why not? It's a bunch. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to answer questions. I'm Ryan. I'm Angela. We're married to each other. Yep. We own a music store. Mm -hmm. Music Lesson Studio. Deep in Heart, Texas. We like to answer questions from people around the world. Planet. All over the planet. Mm -hmm. First question. Yes. Bubba Fang. Question. Have either of you went crazy to see a movie that was... And was so disappointed when you finally seen it. Yeah. Mine was A Force Awakens and The Crimes of Grindelwald. Mm. Adam, grow the beard back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. uh, you ever been excited to see a movie and then were super disappointed? Uh, yes. I couldn't tell you off, off the top of my head which one. I think almost all movies that I've watched recently, <laughs> I've been kind of like, eh. Actually, The Hobbit. I'm gonna go over there. What? Yeah. It wasn't as great as... It wasn't. There were scenes that were really great in the movie. It was not as but good as Lord of the Rings. the seamlessness and the, the, the cinematography wasn't as well put together to me. It, it seemed like they did a rushed job mm -hmm. on it. Is there are parts whenever like the hobbits were running or even the dwarves were running and stuff and you can kind of just see their prosthetics a little bit more than they you really yeah. should. Um, and their feet flopped, you know, in certain scenes and it was just like, oh, you didn't see that in the Lord of the Rings. So there was quite a few scenes. They got kind of lazy in the Hobbit. They did. They really did. And, um... There were just a few scenes in like the second one that I was just like, oh, mm. they shouldn't have made it three movies. Two would have, really? yeah. two would have been great. It was three. Was it three? Or yeah, because they did. They, yes, so. yes, yes. Battle of the Five, Five, five Armies, Armies and Des um, the Desolation of Smog and the, the Hobbit. Yeah. So they should have just made it like two movies, really, honestly, and just cut back on a lot of the just extra stuff that they shouldn't have done. And the fact that they had Legolas in there and he's not in the books and just to add him. Yeah. Legolas was like a... a Fan service? Was a butt, <laughs> you know? He was like this big old jerk. Yeah. And it was just little things like that. I was just like, oh. Because I read The Hobbit. I did not read Lord of the Rings until later. But as, as a kid, I read The Hobbit mm -hmm. and watched the cartoon The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. So, so I would say The Hobbit was probably at my top that I was just like... <gasps> Pretty hyped for it. Yes, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is going to be so amazing. And I was like, that was good. Hmm. It was all right. Yeah. But they set the bar so high with The Lord of the Rings that it's like... How do you not come in and be amazing? Yeah. Divergent was another one. Because I read the books. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, oh, gosh. The first movie was okay, mm -hmm. but the books are just was just so much better. It was yeah. just so much better. So There you go. Um, it's one I was pretty... I don't know one I was real hyped to see that I was like, oh. I didn't hate Force Awakens. Mm-hmm. Like, I was pretty hyped for it, I guess, because I remember, like, seeing the trailers for it and being like, oh. Yeah, you were pretty excited about it. I was pretty excited about it. And I knew it was going to be hot garbage. Well, you know everything ahead of time. That's mm -hmm. not fair. You have superpowers. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't hate it. Yeah. Though it wasn't, I didn't hate it. Uh, the Last Jedi. 
I wasn't super hyped for it. The movie though. that shall not be named. But it was pretty. It was pretty. Like dumb. I walked out of the theater angry. Yeah. And our kids did too. Because people yeah. are like, my kids loved it. You're just an old school fan. You said things change. Kids love it. Like, my sons hated it too. Yes, exactly. They're like, what They're is like, that what garbage? What was that about? <laughs> oh, they went yeah. on for days about yeah. that one. Well, we even came back. Whenever it came out on DVD or whatever, we, we, we rented it. We rented it. Yeah. We didn't buy it. Did not buy that. But I was like, you know what? Yeah, no. Maybe we need to give it a second chance. And maybe we were too critical. And we all sat and watched it. We're like, "This is stupid. This is this so is like, dumb. No, it's we the were worst right. ever. What is this? I can't handle it. That was at all. probably the biggest one. That was just like, what the? I I watched it like recently. When I mean recently, like maybe at the beginning of COVID. <laughs> and because I was just like, I just want something to watch. My gosh! And so I sat and I actually watched it. I think Ryan walked and he was like, "What are you watching?" I'm like, "Cause I'm going through them. I'm going through them all and seeing Why how how well they congeal together as all three. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you watch one and then you wait a long time and you watch another and you wait a long time. But watching them back to back to back, like we do with the New Hope, Empire Strikes, and Return of the Jedi, yeah, yeah, yeah. or what is what is what is one episode one, two, and three? What is it? A New Hope? No, what is it? Oh, uh, gosh, what are they? Back of the Clones. Yeah, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith, and I can't remember what the first one's called. Episode one, oh, Phantom Menace. Yes, instead of, ooh, let's see. Maybe that's what I didn't make but, I so I was just too. like, watching um, seven, eight, nine, thinking, okay, maybe if I just see them as a whole, I would appreciate, no. Hmm. I wanted to show you a video someone sent me about explaining it, it was, all it was hot garbage. Hard. It was hard to watch. There were so many holes. So at, at, to the point where I detached myself and other than the score by John Williams and a few people that are resemble my childhood, it was not anything. It wasn't Star Wars. So I just kind of thought of it as somebody's spinoff, you know, whatever, something. Yeah, that's the most recent. Yeah. Disappointed in the G.I. Joe movies, disappointed in most of the Transformer movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I wasn't super excited about them. Like, yeah. oh my god, the new Dark Side of the Moon Transformers is coming. The last two were terrible. This one's probably going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Yeah. But, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that was pretty, uh, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Rise of Skywalker was... Okay. It was okay. It was about on a level of Force Awakens. But they should have ended it. They had so much they could have done. Good. At the very end, especially with Force Ghosts, that they could have pulled off. It would have been epic if these, they didn't do it. These aren't the movies you're looking for. No, they're not. Mm -mm. Thanks for the question, Bubba Fang. Yeah! Man. All right. <sighs> now, I'm, now I'm not happy. Why would you ask me these questions? I know. Why? You're bringing up all these Don't negative emotions. Don't bring up emotions. Star Wars or Gibson. Gosh. <laughs> Gibson depends. Depends um, on the question. Depends on the It doesn't question. usually end well. <laughs> so next question. Walking Dead 1369er. Mm -hmm. Hashtag Texas Creek Turtle. Whoop, whoop. Hashtag pumpkin pancakes. Hashtag Roxanne. Mm -hmm. Always a nice addition when the bitter bass man shows up. Mm -hmm. Are there any new bands slash guitarists that you are following? I mean ones who have come out within the last five years or so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bitter Bass Man was here last week, if y'all missed it. Whatever. I don't understand the algorithm, because like two weeks ago, I think it was because it was like alternative Les Paul, right? We got like a thousand views on that Ask RNA video. Yeah. We got like 800, 900 views in one day. I'm like, good lord, somebody liked that one. Woo woo. And the last week's got three, Tree Fitty. Tree Fitty, so I'm like, well, I don't know. But Paul was here last week. If y'all missed it, y'all weren't here. Go watch Peter it. Bass man, go check he showed him out. up halfway, halfway through. He showed up unannounced. Mm -hmm. Are there any bands slash guitarists you are following? I mean, ones have come out in the last five years. Any new ones? No. Not really. I don't even know how to, because I don't listen to the radio. Mm -hmm. I don't seek out music on um, like YouTube. I don't honestly, 
know how to because I don't watch television. How do you discover new music? These yeah, days? I don't go places. So there's no like going. You go to Walmart. I know, but if it's, it's like a Walmart radio. <laughs> if it's playing over the speaker at Walmart with along with their propaganda, I will know it. Um, uh, but it's usually just oldies. So um, recommendations from our young customers. Yes, or that like there was one band and she was like not band a performer and I can't even tell you what the name of the person is because it's been about a month ago and. Um, my vocalist was like, I'm, I said, so what song are you, do you have prepared for me today? And she was like, oh, it's this song. Well, you recommended them. And I was like, girl, I haven't heard about this person. I never heard of this person in my life. I have no idea who you thought recommended it, but it weren't me. And then I listened to it. I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> I don't listen <laughs> to this. Really. I don't listen to stuff like this. I mean, it was cute. It was very reminiscent of like, like 60s. Like right when the doo-wop band, you know, from the 50s were transitioning and trying to fit in the 60s. Yeah. It had that fate feel to it. It was really kind of cute thought, but the girl who was singing it had, I don't think she has a good voice at all. And um, it just, I don't know, it just rubbed me the wrong way. The whole video of her, this little white girl dancing in the front and these black guys dancing for her in the back. I was like, mm. wrong era, wrong look, sorry. I can't get into that. Yeah. I can't. Just like so many triggers. Like, <laughs> trigger. Triggered big time. And I'm not a triggered person. And that actually did trigger me. Oh, I'm a trigger man. Yes, you are. You like to trigger people. But, um, I mean, but for that, honestly, that is it. Because most of my students, most of my friends, and even my kids, they're like, Mom, have you heard this song? Yeah, I've heard on Take On Me. By aha, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Or they'll, you know, video games will play a song from the twenty, you know, the thirties or something. Or you know, I still got kiddos. <laughs> I still have like twelve and thirteen year old girls. Who're like, do you know how to play Stairway to Heaven? Yes. Yes. Do you want to learn it? Yes, please. Yes. We will do that immediately to today, right now. Today, right now. I mean, yes. like, that would be a good song for Layla to learn. Yes. To sing to sing. Led Zeppelin is yes, still like all day long. kids, like kids, like I didn't say, hey, you heard Stairway? Yeah. They're like, do you know Stairway? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. There and is a new, actually, there is a it. new Christian artist. His name is Zach Williams. I say he's new. He's probably been around for the last like four, four years. Yeah, he's not super new. Um, but you know, new, played some of his new songs. compared to like Stephen Curtis Chapman, you know, so? my gosh, he's been around since like the early eighties. Feels um, Craig and Dean. <laughs> Amy Grant. Oh my gosh. Um, let's call it some uh, some some uh, oldies. Uh, Michael W. Smith. Carmen. Uh, <laughs> um, but Zach Williams has a new song. Um, there is there is Jesus or something. But he sings with Dolly Parton, and it is so good. Yeah. Dolly Parton's voice is like. Auto I played him. No, I mean she is belting that song. Yes. And I played it for my mom and dad. We were on our way to Laredo. I was like, oh, no, 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 hold on. Y'all have to hear this. So I turned it up on the radio and, and they were like, this is Dolly, what? Dolly Parton? And I was like, no, no, no. Yes, you know, you have to love Dolly Parton to love her voice. She just has one of those voices. But she sang like I've never heard Dolly Parton personally sing since like the early 80s. Like, hmm. she or was, she late 70s. Into it. She was. It's a good song. So that's that's the only like new, but it still has somebody that's old in it. Yeah, I have a new to me band oh, artist. See, I've we have to. lots of new to me. So it's new to me. Mm -hmm. I got a. Uh, uh, I showed this last week. I got this sweet PRS SE guitar. <laughs> it's a funky finish. Like it just looks dark, but it's actually got this real cool like mm. you know mm. quilted top mm -hmm. but it's so dark it doesn't pick up in it's cameras like very chocolate well. quilt yeah it's uh like ancient star. brown for tuden brown or something mm -hmm. in in swedish anyways it's this is frederick akison or akison mm -hmm. from uh opeth 
Mm -hmm. Right, so oh, this yeah, is he had yeah. a signature like it's not a production. You're playing some of that music. Okay. And so I bought this guitar because I watched a video where Ola England interviewed Frederick because they're both mm -hmm. Swedish and they know each other. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, who's this guy? I was like, man, he's really good. Mm -hmm. And he's not even the original member. He like he's been in the band for like the last five or six albums. But mm -hmm. and then I found like saw this guitar and what I like is some people have gone through they've gone and like sanded it. Mm -hmm. They did the satin thing, but on the top. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, oh my god, and it looks super awesome. Mm -hmm. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that. But anyways, I got the guitar because I thought it was just a cool guitar. Mm -hmm. I'm not even really an Opeth fan. I've been aware of them for a while, and even a couple of years ago, like, let me check them out. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. And I was like, I don't know. Right. But uh, this video just came out. They just had a record that came out like late 2019. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Frederick was talking about it to Ola, and I was like, well... Okay, I really watched, because he had some stuff. I'm not gonna hit anybody. Stop it. You know I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I almost hit Paul with it, but it would have been accidental. Mm -hmm. um, so they had this whole thing, and I watched him play, and I'm like, he's really good. I'm like, wow, he's really good. I like him, he seems like a nice personality. And I'm like, huh. Mm -hmm. And I found this guitar, I was like, that's a cool guitar, I like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, maybe I should check out this album. Because <laughs> I'm like, all right, I need to check them out. And so I bought the most recent Opeth album that came out in night, like late 19, November, something. It's very proggy, like 70s prog stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and he sings, he's like singing. He's no, no Cookie Monsters. Is that Cookie? Because yeah. in the early days they were like death metal, like Cookie Monster. Right. Cookie Monster, Opeth songs. <clears throat> so I did, I got that guitar, they're like, well, let me give them another chance because they're all great musicians. They can play really well. So I bought the, the most recent record and I listened to it from the first song to the end. Like when I was a kid, I remember being a teenager and like getting into Metallica the first time and mm -hmm. bought like the Black Album. I listened to the whole album and was like, whoa. And then right. I bought Injustice for All and was like, whoa. And then I bought Master of Puppets. I was like, whoa. I just kept going backwards and listening. Cause back in the day, we listened to the entire record. CD, tape. For the takeover. <clears throat> so I wanted to kind of re-experience that discovering music for the first time and just listening to the whole thing from beginning to end like albums used to be meant to be played. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sort of recapture that experience of checking out a band that you didn't really know much about. So now I'm like five albums in now going back because they have like 13 albums. They've been around for a while. They're not new. Right. But that was a new record, and they're definitely new to me as far as like really getting into their music. So mm -hmm. that's been an interesting journey, really. Just get buying the record, listening to it mm -hmm. first, like straight through, because who does that anymore? Right. Like who puts on a record and just listens to the whole record? We just don't do that that much now. Do you do that? Yeah. Well. Because there's always that everybody loves this one song, mm -hmm. but to me, if you listen to the whole record, there might be another song that will never get played on the radio mm -hmm. that might be your favorite song. Yeah. So. Well, I've, I've done that. I've been going through it, and I've made it finally back to whichever album uh, where they they switched over to clean singing. Mm -hmm. Like, he still had the Cookie Monsters. Okay. And then clean singing. I think the album before this, it was still all Cookie Monsters. Right. I can't remember the name of the album, so it's, but I'm, I'm that far back. I don't know if I'll keep going, because I'm like, I don't really love Cookie Monster stuff. Even if the music and the guitars and the drums and the bass and all that is really good. It's annoying. <clears throat> it's a struggle. I don't love. It really honestly is. It's like, no, I don't like listening to a static channel <laughs> at yeah. full blast. Yeah. In pause, almost like in Morse code. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh my gosh, stop muting. Yeah, it's kind of funny because all the old school, all the old school open fans really got pissed off when they started like singing and they stopped the death growl Cookie Monster stuff. And I'm going backwards. I'm like, I really like their proggy sort of, He's because he can sing. Like he sings really well. And I'm like, I like this. I like this. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't love this. So it's just interesting. But mm -hmm. that's been my newest music journey, but it, they're certainly not a new band. Yeah. Even though they're putting out new material, but yeah! what do you guys think? Who's a new artist that you're really getting into and checking out and enjoying the journey with? Yeah. Let us know. Boom. Boop, boop, boop. 
Thanks for your question, Walking Dead. Ed Pack with the next question. Speaking of reliability, my twin Super Champ heads don't have the typical amp switch you'd find on Fender Tube Amp. Should I have the amp modded to put what most folks would consider a proper switch installed? Typical amp switch. I don't know, you mean like a power switch? Typical power switch or are you thinking like channel switch? Super Champ. I have a Super Champ XD, just the digital one. Um, you know, I've never been into modding amplifiers. Like it's a whole thing, you know, it's a whole industry. You can buy, you know, amps and get into it, mod them and tweak them and do that or pay other people to do it. That's never been a thing for me. Now modding the guitars, swapping pickups, swapping bridges, swapping controls, sanding necks, that kind of stuff is I, I'm, I'm fine with. I don't mind getting in and modding the amps. I'm like, I don't know about that. That's not so much something I've ever wanted to try or been like, oh, I'm gonna send my amp off and have it modified. So I don't know. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Should you or should you not? Do you really want to? Then do it. Is it going to ruin the value of the amp? You know, something to factor and consider. Most mods can be undone though. You know, you're drilling holes for new controls. You can't, you know, really change that. But most, most things can be undone if you don't like it. But I don't know. If you want to, add yeah, do it. If you don't, don't. Or just buy a second one and have that one done. Keep one in the box and never open it. One to play with and one just because. What do you think? Sure, why not? Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks for the question, Ed. You guys tell us, should Ed mod his uh, Super Champ to have a typical Fender switch? Next question, Nizo Dizo. I bought a 2019 Squire Contemporary HSS Strat from Sweetwater that's not RNA music or Flipside music in Denver, Colorado. They were pushing the Plex service real hard, but I chose not to because I like to set up my guitars. I think it had been Plex for another customer who decided or could not buy the guitar. It has mojo for days. Just need to find an upgrade bridge for it. Any suggestions for replacement bridge for it? Thanks. Well, Nizo Dizo or Nizo Dizo. That'd be two Zs. Mm -hmm. Nizo Dizo. I'm not, I've mentioned this possibly before that I'm not really big into Fender guitars, even though a lot of our guitars on the wall are various mm -hmm. Fender style guitars. So um, I wasn't sure, but I did some research. I don't typically research questions, so don't get excited. So I don't have time to go research every single question, but I thought, you know what? Since I'm not really a Fender guy, I need to look around and see what the options are. And uh, Daryl Braun, you know, I may or may not have seen his videos. He has some pretty good videos. I watched a few of them for. He's got a really good Schecter Solo 2 custom video I've watched, mm -hmm. and he's got some good stuff. I think he's Canadian. He has an accent that sounds Canadian. Properly. Yeah. Texans don't have accents. Everyone else has accents. But he had a good video comparing um, some fender bridges like drop-in bridges for your fender strat that don't require any like modification or you know routing out stuff or doing anything destructive to the body so i watched his video and he went through several of them you should go check it out but the one that uh i, I think he liked it the best maybe he listed the strengths and weaknesses of each choice um but was the uh, uh the hip shot contour bridge Seemed to be the one that he kind of liked the most. Some of it was depending on price, right? So the, the Squire Contemporary HSS is not like a super expensive Strat, like a USA whatever. So some of the bridges in there were are quite pricey. You know, that could be the cost of the guitar, right? Would be the bridge upgrade. But the hip shot one seemed to be very reasonably priced and uh, a great upgrade for a more affordable Strat but maybe not something you would do for a super expensive strat. So it seems like to me, based on the strat you got from other guys, <laughs> we don't sell fenders, so it's not 
It's not a big deal. I don't sell fenders. I sell fenders at Flipside Music Denver, Colorado. So yes, I don't know. If you guys are looking for a fender guitar, Flipside Music Denver, Colorado. Um, check that one out. Go check out Daryl's video. He has a really great comparison of all these different bridges. But to me, if it were me, that's the one I would have picked. Mm -hmm. Your mileage may vary. Take it for one. Yeah. Thanks for the question. Next to last question. Mm -hmm. Last two questions by the same guy. There you go. That's more like it. Last two questions. Mm -hmm. Donnie Hall. Wouldn't it hurt to be struck by a star? We talked about being starstruck last week. YouTube fame and such. Mm -hmm. Would it hurt to be struck by a star? No. Okay. <laughs> Wh who, which star? It doesn't matter. A real star? A real star in the sky is not what we think it is, so no. That's true. Ooh. Light. <laughs> um, no. And final question, Donnie Hall. For Angela. Yeah? Question, Angela, what's a huge Ackman? Huge Ackman. Huge Ackman. Mm -hmm. We huge. talked about huge, huge Ackman last Jackman. week. Huge Ackman. Mm -hmm. Huge. It's huge. He's a huge. A huge. I don't know. He's an Aussie. He's an Aussie, mate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could I? He hangs out with Thor. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know. You think they know each other? Maybe. They're both Australian. I mean, Australia's only got like 25 million people. Did you yeah. hear how I just said Australia? Mm -hmm. It sounded very Australian, I think. Uh, it was an accident. Sure. I don't know. I don't either. That's funny, though. That's my Texan coming out. Yeah. Hugh Jackman. You said something the other day about crocheting. Crochet. I don't know what you said, but somebody was like, how did you say that? Or they typed the way... They typed it phonetically the way you said it, and I was like, mm -hmm. I knew exactly what you said. I don't know. I say a lot of things. Crochet, crocheting. Crocheting? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Crocheting? Crochet. I don't have to go hunt through the comments now to look at it. I was like, what's he talking about? I have no idea. Oh, you must have said crochet. Yes, crochet. Crochet. Yeah, it's not crochet. Cr crotchet. <laughs> crotchet. Crotchet. Crocket. Crockett and Hall. All right. And those are the questions for this week. That's it. This is an easy one. Short yep. one. We went in depth on some questions. Mm -hmm. Short, quick, and easy. Thanks for the questions, you guys. If you have a question for next week's Ask RNA, please type it below with your comments and responses to these questions we answered. And ask us a question for next week. We'll try to answer as best we can. If you watch this whole super long video, we got a special hashtag of the day. Uh, type that with your question or comment or just by itself and we'll know that you're in an elite group of people who watched our entire video. Mm -hmm. Your hair looks good. Secret hashtag of the day is. I don't have anything. Oh. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Starstruck. Secret hashtag of the day is hashtag starstruck. Mm -hmm. You guys ever been starstruck? Time to tune. Worse. Worse. Your tuning guy sucks at his job. Yes. He should do that as soon as he gets into the store. He should. And immediately tune all the ukuleles. Yes, and the guitars. With their nylon with their nylon strings that require constant tuning. Hashtag starstruck. And uh, yeah, we'll know that y'all watched the whole video. Thank you guys and gals 
so much for watching. We appreciate it. Um, until the next video, yeah. keep the music alive. Don't forget it. The music needs you. And you need the music. And we need to keep it alive for the next generation. Yeah. Of kiddos who have no idea how to find music. Well, we don't know how to we find We don't know. Music. They probably do. So don't. suggest some songs for us. How about ya? New artists and, and or bands we should check out. Yeah. Suggest below. We'll maybe check them out. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. can't see the frets, they're invisible. Oh my gosh. Oh. You have fret markers. Yeah. Ta -da. Nice. <laughs>